Welcome to my place. Christmas isn't that far away and I know that some of you out there will not be wanting a lot of fuss. I don't want any fuss. If you are here in New Zealand, let me just show you how to do something interesting and something a little bit Kiwiana, a little bit natural, something that's a little bit like what is it about being in New Zealand. So what I've got here is an urn and I have put some uh, green foam into it. Uh, I have had lots and lots of requests from people saying to me, if you're doing artificial, why are you using the green foam? The reason I use the green foam is because I don't like the grey foam. I have said this on numerous occasions, the grey foam got into my eye and has completely scratched the lens of this eye, so I do never ever use it. I do soak it in water and I leave it, and the reason I do that is because I want to actually be putting some fresh flowers into it at a later date. So to begin, I've got a nice black urn here, which is really lovely and heavy. I've got some lovely ivy here, and what I'm going to do with that is to just get some long pieces of wire and pretty much like I've been on a wee wreath thing at the moment I like round flowers but I'm just going to put that around there take it down around the urn which is always a really nice way of bringing nature into an arrangement and to make it look a little bit more softer so a little bit around there I've got another piece here I'm going to put that down into there all cut to length of course because we don't want to be mucking around so that's going to go onto there and then bring that into there there. oops make sure it goes in and then bring that across and then I'm just using 18 wire 18 gauge wire is the best wire because it's really hard and very firm that is going to go into there now beside that because I've got this love oops and that fell off never mind we don't need that because I've got this lovely lot of foliage and ivy going around the side there I thought I and running into a nice wreathy form I would also like I thought to put a little bit of this into there and that can just go round, hook into there and that can drape down and this represents, to me this is what New Zealand is all about, this lovely, look at this lovely spiny stuff, so that can go into there to make sure that it stays in place, another piece of wire, bend that over and then just push that down into there. I love our natural ferns here in New Zealand, I wish I had a fresh one but I don't, but if you did want to put a fresh one in, you could perhaps get a maiden hair fern or a little Boston fern and then just, there's a little wee space in here, just that little space in there, what you could do is you could cut a wee bit more of that out and you could actually put a living fern into there which could be very, very nice. But I'm going to put that into there, push that right down, take that over the side. I've got that little bit there and because I like to always have a little bit of order and balance, I'm just going to bring another piece over to this side here so that that just sort of like sits up and goes down the side. Now because it's it's Christmas and because we like a little bit of red with our green, I've got these lovely berries which I'm just going to push into here. Now the other thing that I do when I'm doing this is like I start on the outside and I work into the centre of whatever I'm doing. So because I've got those over there I'm going to put a few over this side. Just that that's that transition and balance that's really necessary. Put that over to there. It doesn't matter that they're not on the same plane. Don't forget that the eye is the laziest, laziest of all of our organs in our body because the everything that you see happens in here. So I always like to just vary it and have the same visual weight on this side and on this side, but this can go down and that can go up. I've got a couple more, I'm going to put one down into there and I'm going to bring this one onto this side and I'm just going to take it up just a little bit further. So now what's happening is you've got your ivy around the outside, you've got this lovely viney thing on the outside, you've got these forms that are all dripping over this side and then you've got these high visuals over over this side. Beside this fern here I've got the berries coming out of it as if it was growing. I love it. Now I've got another type of berry here which I think is going to be visually interesting and I think that that's what you need to remember if you're doing flowers. The more visual forms that you have the better your design is going to be. So I'm stepping from the outside into the middle, put those into there like so and then, oh look at this, I love this. I thought that I would put that into there like that so you see how we're just building up with these lovely layers that can go into there and then I've got these beautiful flowers here that one can go into there put one a little bit higher I've got two forms different colors push that down into there because I've put that there I can actually take that around to there and I can put that into there now 
Christmas, little birds. I'd like to have had some little tomtits, but I don't, so this will just do. Little birdie into there, like so. And then we'll bring another one into the other side, like the kissing cousins, sending those into there. Look at that, easy, 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 easy. Natural New Zealand, this is what I think New Zealand is all about. That on a table with some candles on either side with a lovely green runner and then a nice runner running through that could look quite spectacular at your place for Christmas if you're looking for something a little bit different. Thanks for calling, I've had a great time making this for you and I hope to see you another day. Thank you.